Hey Crossroad Kids, it's Teacher Melissa. I hope you all are having a great and fun day so far. Though we can't quite play with each other just yet, guess what? Today, we're going to get to do a fun craft together to help us to remember our Bible story better for this week. Just a little bit more. Um, and it's remember, it's about Joshua and how by trusting in God's plan, he was able to bring the walls of Jericho down. So, just like in the story, they they some people had horns. So today, we're going to get to make our own horn. Um, I'm going to let you guys know what we'll need, and then we could get started. Alrighty. So, first, you'll need a blank piece of paper, tape, any tape should be fine, pencil, scissors, a ruler, your favorite coloring tools, whether they're markers or crayons or both. And then for the parts for our horn, there's two parts to it. There's the top part, which is going to be a cup. Uh, this is a styrofoam cup. I would suggest to use this or a paper cup. Or basically, um, because you'll need to make a hole on the bottom and I think it's easier to cut a hole in the bottom in a styrofoam cup or a paper cup. And then a roll. It could be any roll. Um, this was old cookies that I used to have. <laughs> um, but you could use a paper towel roll. You could also connect two toilet paper rolls together with tape. Um, but yeah. Alrighty, friends. Do you have everything? Are you all ready? Ready! Alrighty. So, we'll get started. First, we're going to set up uh, some of the parts of our horn. So, with your cup and with the scissors mm -hmm. that you'll need help from mommy or daddy or an adult that's with you. You're going to, I, I already did it to save some time, but you're basically going to need to poke a hole on the bottom so that you can cut it through and cut out the bottom because for our horn, when you attach the two together like this, you're going to need to have that open so the noise can come through. <laughs> Alrighty, so the cup the first part and then for the roll the bottom part so if you have a roll that it doesn't have as much stuff on it like mine does then you could go ahead if you'd like and decorate it um, with your coloring tools if you feel like there's just too much on uh, like too much that you can't really cover like like kind of how I feel about this one that's where we could then, we're going to, with the blank piece of paper, we're going to cover it and basically make, yeah, make a cover and then decorate um, that way so that, you know, all this stuff on it, um, you won't see. So to set that up, you'll need your blank piece of paper, pencil. Align it, them together, and then wrap it around. And so since with the paper, not every part is going to be shown, with your pencil, you can then mark where the two parts meet. Like that. And then do the same on the top. like that and then with the now the two markings you had with your ruler you connect the two together to then join them in a line 
like this. So I did a, that line. And then I also put the word covered. And also put some lines there. All of this is just to remind myself that I don't need to put anything on this part. Because it's going to be covered when we put it all together. So... You don't have to put the cover, you don't have to put the lines, but if you feel it helps, you can absolutely do that. But otherwise, the line should be enough. And then, just before we get to the fun part of decorating, we are going to put our Bible verse and our theme um, phrase together too for the Bible story. Uh, just so that when we color and decorate, we don't have to worry about um, making the space for it because we already will. So, I already did it ahead of time also, but again, this is again the part that is not going to show. And then this is our where our story comes from. Joshua 6 verses 1 to 27 and then this is our theme for this from the story of just like how Joshua trusted God's plan we can trust God's plan alrighty so once you have that set now is the fun part where you can decorate with your coloring tools your cup and the, your cover or if you did make the cover and this is plain enough your roll um, so for this part, feel free to take your time and have fun with it. And when you're ready for the next step, feel free to jump back in with the video. Okay, friends. So now with your parts decorated, we're going to put them together. So I did mine already. Um, so for my cup, I did this. Uh, and... To, now we're going to put our horn together. So we're going to just simply go like that. Make sure it's in. Okay. And just to make sure that it stays in place, I would suggest to take the tape and put tape around to hold it in place. Like this. Okay, just like that. Okay, friends, and then now we're going to take our cover. This was mine I did ahead of time. So again, this was where I rem reminded myself that this part is covered and no one's going to see it. And then I just put everything here and I put my, actually, because I did it ahead of time, I put my five overs down here. But it doesn't really matter where you put it, you can put it wherever you'd like. So, starting from where the part is, that's not going to show, and with some tape, I'm going to start putting it on. So, okay, again, starting from the part that I know is not going to show. And I'm going to take one tape and put it on like that. And just to make sure, I'll put it on the top part too. Like that. And then wrap it around. And with another piece of tape, I'll roll it together so that sticky parts are on both sides and I'm going to put it under so I don't put it to cover my my uh, the decorating the deck uh, how I decorated it <laughs> and I'm taking a second piece and putting it under like that so that I could then also tuck it under and put it on like that and then, ta-da! Here is your horn! <laughs> Cheers!
just like in the story of Joshua and the Worlds of Jericho. So, I hope you guys have fun with this. I totally did too. And please feel free to share um, your horn and how awesome they look on social media. Or you could email um, an image to of it uh, to us. Um, but again, I hope you had fun. And I hope that you remember that just like how Joshua had trusted in God's plan to bring down the mighty walls of Jericho, we can trust God's plan for us. Alrighty, friends. Have a great day. Bye!